this is it, the final showdown. Two of the most iconic NES games of all time face off for the title of champion. Who will win? Join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which game is the king of the NES. It's Super Mario Bros. 3 vs. Duck Hunt on this finale episode of Video Game Fight Club. It's time. This is it, we're here. Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Duck Hunt. How did that game even get up here? <laughs> How did it even get up here? <laughs> the seating. <laughs> the All right. seating. Alright. Okay, exactly look, 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 look. We're in the championship, baby! Woo! No matter how, look, you cannot deny that these are two of the best NES Iconic games. Iconic NES without a With Nintendo a Entertainment a System <clears throat> games. Okay. We have Mario 3, which is a side scrolling platformer game. Probably the best of the best side scrolling platformer games. Then you have a light gun game where you it's shoot probably guns. Probably the best it's light gun the game. Best light gun game, maybe of all time. time. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't judge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so, man. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I don't decisions, know. decisions. All right. We've yeah. already talked about these games at length. Yeah. yeah. So there's no need to go through on a granular level and, nope. and tell you what these games are or why they need to be here. But we do have our guideline to help keep us in line. Yeah. Thank you, um, guideline. Thanks, Brandon, for writing this very basic guideline to keep us to direct the show. <laughs> Can you read that? Can you Probably. read that, Zuban? Read that. Probably. Well, good luck. Probably not. My handwriting's terrible. <laughs> uh, it's gotten better. It's runic tuning. It's gotten better. Look, I write in all... Brandon, your handwriting looks like chicken scratch! I, I write in all capitals now. It you helps do. me. It does. I can it read it now. Me. Anyways. Mario 3. Oh, man. It's mm. not only one of the best NES games of all time. It's one of the best Mario games of all time. It's the one of the best platformers of all time. Side scrolling platformers. It's just man, it it, it is good. Look at it. Look at it. That box art. Look at it. That box art. That's mm. that's the biggest, most exciting Mario Bros. adventure yet. It's, it's really got the official Nintendo seal of quality. Dude. I think just like every single game. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh. I don't want to touch your box. This is a really that's, that's a box. minty box. I got that for a very. Wait, 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 wait. I only paid twenty bucks. It's a minty box. It's minty, man. Minty. I only paid like twenty bucks for that. Minty dollar. Uh, yeah, yes, really bit. twenty bucks for that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That wow. that in that Super Mario two, but where do we begin? Where do we begin? Oh man. Let's go down the let's go down the general review. Let's go down the general list. Yeah. Let's do it. Audio. Super Mario Bros. Three. 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 Super Mario Bros. Three has. Really great music, iconic to this I'm, day. I'm gonna state not for, that the Duck Hunt doesn't. I'm gonna state for the fourth freaking time <laughs> that Duck Hunt doesn't even have music in it, other than a couple jingles and a lot of good sound effects. Um, visually, I mean, it just looks better. Visual, it is. It is a later game. This was this was very 90. Yeah. This was 1990. It's a very late 90. Mario game. This was very late on 86 on the release. Um, it is... Duck Hunt was. Du yeah, Duck Hunt was very, very early. Mm -hmm. um, so visually, let's not just talk about, like... We don't even talk about story. The graphics. I mean, the story, once again, both these games. You save a princess because she's been captured by Bowser. You, you shoot, shoot ducks duck because... You shoot ducks. But this time, it's For different. sport, I guess. <laughs> sport? For Mario, Par My Mario Party. Mario Bros. 3, it's different. Bowser has an airship now. He do. He got a lot of airships. He got, he got like a fleet. I'd be well. Let's talk about instead of singing these praises. What do you think of the worst parts of these games? Let's let's talk about worst like the worst qualities. Maybe that'll help us kind of get the, mm, okay, the ball okay. rolling. I, 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 got, I, got, I got one. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Because it's fresh. It's fresh. Mario 3's boss fights are kind of weak. Yeah, there's not much You're differentiation the from the castle Koopa boss. Kids, Koopa kids fall down, you bounce on their head. Yeah, sometimes there's there's wood in the way as, a, as hazards. Sometimes around. they shoot the little spaghetti-o looking sometimes things. Sometimes they bounce you. off the walls. Sometimes it's laser beams. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's just kind of like the it's kind of the same sprite as the mid castle boss. The mid castle boss, same thing. You just jump on his head. Yeah. 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 Jump, there's not a lot of creativity except the last boss where you're fighting Bowser, and he's hitting the bricks, and you have to like kind of guide him. That's probably yeah. the most unique boss fight in the entire game. Now I know. And it's fun. And the, just that song. Though. Oh yeah! Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's in Mario RPG. Uh, oh, I'll say I'll say this. This I guess is a dim, it's, it's a disadvantage to the uh, Duck Hunt, but there's just not a lot of variety. Now we can shoot argue and say we can argue 
that cartridge has Duck Hunt packed in there with Mario Bros. No, no, so no, 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 nope. no. Nope. That doesn't nope. count. I'm sorry, Mario Bros. Duck is Hunt out. Duck Hunt does have a single cartridge. Does it really? Yes, sir, it does. I'm pretty sure. You want to fact check me? I might be wrong. Okay. I don't know. But either way, we I have can, to, can we have have to but judge either, it based but, on. But yes, it. but but at the end of the day, I know there. You know that was a new that was new technology. It was kind of groundbreaking. Um, I mean, they, did, they had it in arcades. Yeah. But. Uh, I mean, there's only there's only three there's only three levels. See, you Duck Hunt shoot two ducks. Exactly, duck. exactly. Duck Hunt has one of the worst villains in gaming. Yeah. Monotony. Yeah. Oh no, I was gonna say the dog. No, yeah. no, I'm talking about We're monotony. Read it deep. Just doing the same thing do over. Have a, oh yeah, you're right. Over. Gotta stand over. They do gotta stand and over. Yeah, and so that's all you have. The entire game is just that. You're shooting two ducks on the I was screen. thinking the dog one was doing fast, one because he never dies because you can't kill him. Yeah. But how I mean, about this? Monotony is the worst villain in gaming because that can sink a game. Well, how about this? I'm not just really? arguing Duck Hunt because my history with Duck Hunt on this list. But you sometimes you do get the controllers that are faulty. Those The hardware can work oh, against yeah, yeah. it. That's something we never really talked about. I don't like to bring that up because let's just pretend like everything's working. But we have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the, like, to find something bad about right. the, the last, the finalists here. Right. Well, I'll put it to you this way. I'll put it to you this way. I'm sorry. Or even your TV could be full. No, I was going to say, in the current state, we just argued this yeah, on one of our previous episodes. We did. If you don't have a CRTV, you can't yeah. play Dokkan. You're right. I'll put you it to you this CRT. way. If you've got a it's malfunctioning aging. regular Nintendo controller, there's a chance you could still do something on Mario 3 and, and be playable. But if you have a malfunctioning light gun, yeah, you just can't play the game. I, you're not going to be able to play the game. I have heard of some people where it's like, it'll shoot every other round. It's like, you'll hit the two ducks, then you'll miss the two ducks, and you'll hit the two ducks. So, I mean, I don't want to... I know it's kind of like a redundant right. point, I guess, to like bring up hardware limitations, but, but the hardware's what makes that game special. Exactly. And you have to have it to play that game. And this and this factors into the test of time, because when, when, when you have equipment that just kind of sits in your storage that collects dust... Sometimes they malfunction. People can't explain why. Maybe well, but just... also you could argue that Mario 3's cartridge would collect dust and it wouldn't well, be Well, well, hang on though. Hang on though. If, you know, uh, my point is, is that, you know, and I'm not I'm not saying the dust specifically is going to cause a malfunction. It's just it's, if it's an older piece of equipment, maybe the durability is down or something. You pull that trigger, you, you know, you can pull that trigger for the last time and not even realize it. And then you pull on it and then... Well, I, I'll say, I mean, no, you're right. Well, so I took Lou's, my, my wife had a duck hunt that was just sitting in her house and was just, I literally was collecting dust. I was like, let's yeah. bring this home when we got married. So I brought it home and I let the boys use that one because it had some little rat in it. Zapper. And now it doesn't work. So that I'm like, it works kind of. And so yeah. I let them play with it because my other one is the one that yeah. works and it's precious. I almost, so I mean. I leave it alone. The, the, because it's not, like you said, it's not going to work. When exactly. those two break, that's it. Now, you can yeah. find zappers pretty readily. Yeah. These are good points. I just want to about the CRT. But, but exactly. But I, that same argument can be said that like in in that that hardware we're putting we're factoring I mean, that hardware do, in. I think I think this point is kind of redundant or, or uh, moot because your NES. What if your NES just doesn't work? No, no, then yeah, you can't but, play any of these. No, but but I'm saying I'll, I'll, like this I'll, one. This one you got you got to shove all. You got to like finagle it in there. I think the thing that that's a good arguing point, and I think you're no, that's a good point. That if that hardware is not there, I think that's the, again that's an arguing point. For Duck Hunt, in that it is revolutionary. The Super Scope, like we joked about a couple episodes back, tried to emulate it and still couldn't do it on better hardware. Mm. And it just stands like, like Steve said, like yeah. you know what a zapper is. They tried to use the. It is such an iconic the zapper. Weapon. The zapper used the light from the TVs, and then the Super Scope actually yeah. has sensor. Bar, sensor right? exactly. It's kind of garbage. But it's like they they try they try to upgrade and do better, and they never could. Yeah, and exactly. nothing has ever really has, aside from arcader shooters. Can, can you do you can play Duck Hunt with the power glove and like? I'm worried to die. I feel so. like I somewhere so. in my stupid brain of memories, I played Duck Hunt with a remote. Is that possible? Uh, maybe. Uh, like, I remember, it, like, changing channels as a kid, know, and, like, it no, would, no, I, I don't it was know. flashing I know, the screen. Well, maybe the, it wouldn't register. You could shoot a light bulb with the gun and hit it every time, because it's the light. Huh. It's not the infrared, or mm. I don't think. Yeah. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna Google, can you play... <laughs> Duck Hunt with a remote. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm, honestly, I can't think of too many flaws aside from that fight with Mario Brothers 3. Everything about that, aside, honestly... Here's a here's a plus. You know what Mario Three does great? Must do great. It, they bring the, the sucky water levels are back, and guess what? If you got the frog suit, 
the water levels? I don't know the answer to that. Aren't too bad. It makes the water levels a little more bearable because yeah, Mario 3 it, brought the suits. It rewards you. Yeah, the power-ups in Mario 3. Mm-hmm. There's just so many power-ups. We're going to talk about fuel. The Hammer Brothers like suit. Mm-hmm. The Fire Flower suit. What's the boot? The, the boot? Tanuki suit. What's the boot? Karibo called? shoe. Thank you. The shoe. The shoe. You get in the shoe. You, you can bounce, bounce on the piranha plants. You get your, your, uh, yeah, you have invincibility. You look like a like Mario hazards. in a stocking. You can jump on spikes and you're all right because mm-hmm. you're in the Karibo shoe. The Karibo shoe. It's a big shoe. It is. Yeah. That, that, that shoe needs to come back. It does. Really? Has it, has it, it, it came back in like Mario Maker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Mario 3D Land or That's World. another thing. Let's talk about that. Mario Maker, right? Mario wow. Maker, a lot of the design was built around Mario 3. Mario 3 is... It is just a mm-hmm. fine game. That is a good game. Yeah. That's like... We didn't talk about the little mechanic guy, the little mole that comes out through the pipe and throws the, the wrenches at you. Yeah. He makes an appearance way here. Way more iconic so stuff. Many ba- so many batters. The characters, they're way mm. more recognizable and... and there's a lot more of them. Yeah. I mean, the reason you remember the duck and the dog is because it's all this freaking there. And you and look, hey, two player, two player. And they, could you do? We two? we 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 talked about it. Yeah. We we talked about you can play competitive or cooperatively. Mm-hmm. Jacob wants to take level four because he's better at the scrolling levels. I want to take that level because okay. I want the mushroom house. Yeah. I want to get the power up because I'm greedy and I want to be better. Um, or I want to forfeit the turn by going and like doing the stupid Mario one or the the, the Mario Brothers arcade. Oh yeah. And, Throwing my turn away. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think. All right. I mean, we talked about like we talked about audio. We talked about visually Mario was better. Story, story. Eh, yeah. whatever. Mechanic, Mechanically, we just, just kind of talked about it. Yeah. What do you prefer? Do you do you want to play one of the best platform side scrolling platformers of all time, or do you want to have good old dang old plain old dumb smooth brain fun? Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Don't know. That's really up to That's you. That's a tough one. And it's really it's question on a case by case survey basis. survey. Yeah, sure. Brandon survey. You got Mario 3 in the NES, you got Duck on the NES. What are you picking up and playing? Oh. Which one are you going to pick up and play? I'm not going to tell you because that's going to reveal my final pick. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Mm. It really depends on the situation. It really does. Mm. It depends on what mood I'm in. Mm. I, could, I, I can't say. I can't mm. say. Not me. I don't think it depends on my mood. I can tell you right now. Oh, man. We got like, I'm not gonna, do we have every a, time? Do we have a little Mexican standoff going on right here? No, I can pick either one any, any day. It really mm. would. I think I lean towards one, but... But for the sake, all right, yeah, let's let's just it's time, look. It's hard. We to can kind of go the longest. This is the fun. I think the only time I would pick one, over, like the one that I wouldn't pick over the others, is if I've been playing the one that I picked. Like, like <laughs> you're speaking I, so cryptically. If I got tired, no one knows of, what you're saying. If I got tired of playing <laughs> the one that I picked that I that I would normally pick on first, then I would pick that one. But that's it. <laughs> you said nothing. <laughs> You just said nothing. That's the point. <laughs> can you can you my, put the algorithm? My in? brain. Uh, I, I is talked an about. Enigma. I, we we put on here what's revolutionary for the time. Both these games are super revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, Mario three has, yeah. has it revolutionized what that it system did do it, it, for it, a platform. I would be willing to say that Super Mario World perfected the foundation mm-hmm. that Mario three put Built. down. Yeah. Without Mario Three, yeah. Mario Super Mario World would not have been able to put that cape on and fly mm-hmm. and grab the key and do the keyhole. Goes, That's a good game. Um, <laughs> Stand the test of time. We kind of answered that. Mm-hmm. Which one represents the console better? That's that's really. I think that's really up. To I think either. that's gonna. I think that. One, mm. All right. How about this? Boat time. Let's do it. Brandon's going first. Oh. Go right. first, Brandon. I'm going first. Let's hear it. This is for all the marbles. <laughs> this, this, this is for all the marbles, everyone. Yeah. My vote uh-huh. is going to be for a game that I would do. I would go on a cross-country adventure all the way to the state of California to Universal Studios to participate in one of the Sorry, most epic video game competitions of all time, Video Art- Armageddon. Mm-hmm. Super Mario Brothers 3 is my vote for the best NES game of all time. The GOAT! Who's next? <laughs> Jacob, you go next. Do you, you want to do, do it at the same time? Yeah. Oh, okay. like, you want to, yeah, like, Brandon goes one, okay. two, three, shoot. On, on go. Let's turn and face each other. On go. Get a little closer just so I can frame it all up. All right, all right, all right. Ready. 
One, two, three. Go Super Mario Brothers, Brothers 3. I couldn't even say it right. Brand just $8 spit. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3. My sister has a has painted a picture of this box art for my brother-in-law. He doesn't have a duck hunt. That's not the deciding factor. It's just it is the iconic game of this console. Jacob, shirt. Jacob's line. He texted me. He said I that's had a why he shirt picked with it. that, and I wore yeah. that shirt. To pulp, like literally, it is just it Look, was rags. Th- th- it was rags. There's, there's websites that we use, and people make mashups of different games using this art all the time. Using this art, it's it, they don't use Duck Hunt art. That is iconic. It will never be un iconic. If Duck Hunt would have won this, I would have went in the other room and got a gun and <laughs> shot both of you. There's <laughs> a reason. Zapper. There's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason why the wizard chose this game. Yeah. To well, be the final game. Uh, I mean, it was it was new. It was new. No one knew. They were announcing it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know why they were announcing it right there? Why? Oh, Steve? Because yeah. it was the greatest game of all time for the NES. Mario Bros. Three wins. It. I mean, wins. Come on, we're out here. Argue it. All right, let the confetti come down. Brandon, edit edit the confetti here. Good job, Brandon. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Super Mario Bros. 3 wins and has been crowned the champion of our competition. Was it predictable? Is Mario 3 overrated? Why did Doug Hunt make it this far in the first place? Tell us all about it in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks so much for watching, it means the world to us. Stay tuned for a special bonus behind-the-scenes episode on this season of Video Game Fight Club. See you later!